We are coming to the end of 2011, the International Year of Forests. Over the last year, an unprecedented level of attention has been placed on the world's forests and the challenges and opportunities that confront them. The International Year of Forests started off with a dynamic meeting of the United Nations Forum on Forests in New York. At this event, the Rwandan government committed to border-to-border -to -border restoration of its natural ecosystems, upon which a vast majority of its population depends for their livelihoods. This bold step has stimulated other governments to adopt a similar scale of ambition. Along with the government of Rwanda and the United Nations Forum on Forests, IUCN was a major partner in supporting Rwanda's initiative. At the time of Rwanda's announcement, we predicted that the commitment might mark the beginning of the largest restoration initiative the world has ever seen. And it is beginning to look as though we were right. In September, we co-hosted with the German government a meeting of ministers and executives of major organizations and companies. This concluded in a joint commitment to restore 150 million hectares of deforested and degraded landscapes by 2020. That's approximately equivalent to an area the size of Mongolia. It will be worth $85 billion per year to local and national economies. Needless to say, the benefits to biodiversity and people will be phenomenal. At the year's end, we'll be wrapping up the first phase of our five-year livelihoods and landscape strategy. Its aim has been to improve sustainable management of natural resources and the lives of people who depend on them in more than 20 countries across Africa, Asia, and Latin America. These are just some of the many successes we are proud to have achieved during this important year. 2011 was the globally celebrated International Year of Forests, but let's bear in mind that every year is vital for forests. We will continue our work on the conservation of the world's forests and their enormous irreplaceable contribution to the survival of biodiversity and human society.